Welcome back guys. You guys ready to see some haircuts? You might have seen this right here. We colored it last week. We're gonna cut it. We're gonna do a little triangular graduation, what that basically means. Short here, long in the front. Stay tuned, coming up. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, I'm a hairdresser of 25 plus years. And I just wanna share with you guys some of the tips and tricks that have made me successful along the way. So subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that little button right there. You know, if you wanna get notified, my videos come out once a week, go ahead and hit that little bell button. You know, you don't really have to smash it. Just lightly tap it, whatever, okay? All right guys, let's get into this haircut right now. So we're gonna be doing a triangular graduation. I'm gonna go ahead and part this off really quick. All right guys, so really, really quick, I took a section right out of the top. I'm going to place this just in this natural kind of falling position. And I, the reason why I do this is because I wanna see the gradation of the color. And I wanna see where my ending length is gonna be. Because if I'm gonna do a triangular graduation and I'm gonna go from short to long in the front, I wanna make sure that I'm still seeing color throughout the top. And so if I go really short with my triangular graduation, I'm gonna be cutting off a lot of that yellow down through here. So I really wanna make sure that I'm leaving some of that length. So I wanna end this about right in this area. So as I go to cut through this, I'm gonna make the back fairly short and we're gonna increase that length through there, as you can see, just like that, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna cut this with a razor. Let's go. My line is really mimicking the line on the bottom. And so right now I'm gonna to start to slowly disconnect everything because we want to start to give a little bit more length and a little bit more length and a little bit more length. And so this length is actually gonna come down to about like right through here. So you're gonna to start to see how this length will kind of float forward. And I really want it to have just a lot of width to it for sure. So, you know, with that being a little bit shorter underneath, it's not gonna be like this shave disconnection, but as I start to layer, you'll see throughout this kind of top area, I'll really start to leave a little bit of length um, on that bottom perimeter. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, as you can see, we've reached the very top section through here and you can start to see some of that yellow popping through right on those sections right through here. Right through the back, of course, we've cut that off. We've cut all the way up into the orange right through here. But the way that this color has been placed, what we wanna do is we wanna leave like some of that yellow. So I'm gonna cut off some of those ends right through there. But when we start to dry this, you're gonna to start to see how that, that, that yellow is just gonna come through right on those ends. It's gonna be super amazing. So stay tuned for that. So let's cut this remaining section. Let's go from there. And as you can start to see, as I start to cut, you'll notice that those very first sections was a very, very, um, um, very little waves in my razor. And then as the sections went up, it would become deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's to make those ends looser. So it's got more kind of texture towards those ends. It's a little bit more blunt underneath. So that's why that happens. All right, guys, as you can see, the wet shape, triangular graduation. Let's go ahead and dry this. Let's refine it, dry. As you can see, this is not refined yet. Of course, it's got an extreme, um, uh, it's got an extreme angle to it. So from, as you can see, kind of really what was happening here, what's happening through the front, you know what I mean? Like this could work, right? This could work if somebody was like wanting that kind of extreme look to it. The one thing where this could go kind of astray is if you didn't take out like enough weight through some of these areas, it could essentially look like dog ears. So we wanna make sure that that doesn't happen in case like, you know, she pushes it back or whatever it may be. So really, um, right now, I'm gonna go through and trying to keep in mind, like I still wanna keep some of that yellow that's going through there, 
but I'm just gonna go through and refine this and make this kind of this nice editorial triangular graduation. Somebody that likes that short in the back, long in the front, but they want it to look a little bit more extreme. Not so traditional, not so suburban mom kind of thing. So we want to um, take it to that next level. So as I start to really kind of look at this, right, there's a few different things that I'm really paying attention to. Number one, because the length up here on top is progressively getting longer, and so it's kind of sitting over the top of this, like disconnected, as you can start to see, even if you pull this length down from this length right through here, I really want to look like, I really want to start to look at, and I'm going to remove hair in a way that's actually going to going from short to long, short to long, short to long. The reason for that is because I want to keep the same flow going with what we already started through here, and then we're going to be adding that throughout the top. So as you see this, I'm going to be taking sections through this top area because as this starts to hang right through here and whatnot, that's where you start to get really heavy points. So I want to cut short hair in between. So let's go ahead and do that right now, guys. So as I go into these sections, I'm going to remove some of this hair right through here. And you're gonna see how it's gonna go from like short to long, short to long, short to long, okay? Now we're doing like this interior cutting, which is gonna help kind of match what's already happening on the exterior. As you guys start to look at this, and what I really want you guys to start to see is you can start to see as I put in a lot of that movement throughout this area. And so I still need to work on this, this front section through here, but you can start to see how this is all starting to hang really, really nice through here. And it's not gonna get super dense up into this area because we've worked a lot of the interior inside of here to help match that texture that's happening on those ends. So once I start to work this a little bit more, then I'll move over here to this side. So we can start to kind of see how that's starting to lay as well. And when we go in, we're gonna start putting a lot of that movement in this area. So that kind of keeps that flow going from here into the inside. So let me work the front and then I'll work the other side. So one thing to keep in mind is that when you're cutting texture, texture is a feeling and is visual. So as you start to look at your shape and you're, you're looking at how everything is kind of laying, you want to look at, okay, cool. So where's the weight? You know, where isn't the weight? You know, where do we want more volume? What not. So as you had watched me cutting through this, as you can see, I was really going in to kind of remove some hair up into this area. And the reason for that is because this is what's gonna help create volume. This is what's gonna make it to where she can part her hair any which direction. Um, she can push it back. She can do any of those specific things. So really at the end of the day, I'm really looking at all of this. I wanna look and see how is it laying. I mean, I absolutely love really how this whole shape is laying. I think it's super, super dope. You know what I mean? It's got a very fun um, way to approach a triangular graduation that is going to allow us to have something that's not so traditional. So again, um, I would encourage you, cut it with a razor, go through when you start texturizing, because really the haircut's only halfway done when you're cutting it wet, um, because when it really starts to come alive is when you start cutting it dry. So I'm going to style this, and I'm gonna show you a couple different ways on how to do this. So stay tuned for that. Let's do that now. I can't take credit for the way my mama raised me. I point at her when people say I am amazing. What a woman. She taught me how to be a Wonder Woman. And as you can see with something like this, like we used a rod to curl this, but again, I'm not trying to go for like a real beachy wave look. I'm just trying to add texture to where I didn't curl everything. And as you can see, I almost took like pie sections, everything kind of pie sectioned down. So here, 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 you know, just to kind of add a little bit of texture throughout the whole thing to where it just doesn't look so traditional, right? Um, we all know how to beach, beach wave things like that, but this is just kind of something to expand your repertoire to where it's like, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? You know, and if all the pieces don't necessarily curl, that's completely fine as well. But adding texture, making sure it's balanced, that's super, super important. U, U, A, L, I see you, a lady. U, U, A, 
Alright guys, so I wanted to give you guys a few different options. Look one, right here. Okay, look one is a style that you can wear very commercially. It's something that you can do, um, you know, it's very easy to like blow dry. You can round brush it as well to give it more volume. Look two is gonna be something that's gonna be more of like a rod, just like this. You show how I kind of like curled it. You see that texture as I start to play with that right there. And then look three is bringing out her natural curl and I'm diffusing it with my fingers, whatnot, and you can see the end result right here. So again, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to this week's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you liked the video, like it, comment, subscribe, you know, whatever it may be. Other than that, guys, I'll see you next week. My name is Jake Thompson-Hare. See you then.